Dawn breaks over a quiet street. Two Tesla Model Ys sit side by side. Identical shapes, different stories. Same badge, same promise. But look closer and you'll see two very different philosophies. On the left, the 2026 Tesla Model Y standard, starting at $39,990, the most affordable Tesla ever built. On the right, the Model Y Premium, priced at $44,990, $5,000 more, but for what exactly? From a distance, they look nearly the same, both electric, both efficient, both carry that futuristic Tesla glow. But the real question isn't which one looks better, it's which one actually fits your life. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which version is right for you, and which one's just burning money. Let's find out. From 20 feet away, you'd swear they're twins. That's intentional. Tesla isn't trying to make standard buyers feel lesser, but step closer. The standard gets a simpler lighting setup, clean LED strips. The premium features a full width light bar with a more refined look. The standard's 18 inch wheels are practical, lightweight, and great for range. The premium's 19 inch alloys look sharper and fill the wheel wells better. Out back, the difference continues. The premium's lighting design just feels more cohesive. Small touches, subtle improvements, they start to add up. Inside, things get real. The standard welcomes you with durable fabric seats. Simple, practical, easy to clean. But the premium? Soft vegan leather. It feels upscale, smells new, and looks elegant. Both share Tesla's minimalist design and the same 15-inch touchscreen the digital heart of the cabin. But materials tell the story. The standard's dash is hard plastic. The premium adds soft touch panels, stitching, and a more refined finish. The premium also unlocks an eight inch rear display, great for kids or long drives, and a 17 speaker premium audio system that fills the cabin beautifully. The standard sound is fine, podcasts, calls, no problem. But for music lovers, the premium transforms every drive into a small concert. Then there's ambient lighting, subtle, customizable, and soothing at night, only on the premium. Both have identical cargo space and that panoramic glass roof. Same practicality, but very different experience. Performance. Now, let's talk about what happens when you hit the road. The standard Model Y packs around 300 horsepower, good for zero to 60 in 6.8 seconds, that's quicker than most gas SUVs out there. The premium boost power to hit 60 in about 5.4 seconds, a full second and a half quicker. You'll feel it merging onto the highway, overtaking traffic or just for fun. Both are rear wheel drive. Both handle with Tesla's signature low center of gravity. Cornering feels planted, confident, precise. The premium doesn't corner better, just faster. So ask yourself, do you need that extra shove? Or would you rather save the money and still smoke most cars at the light? Range and charging. Range is where the premium starts to flex. The standard delivers about 321 miles on a full charge. The premium, 357 miles. That's an extra 36 miles, roughly one fewer charging stop on a long trip. Charging speeds differ too. 225 kilowatts for the standard, 250 for the premium. It's about a 15 minute difference on a cross country run. Noticeable, but not huge. For daily driving, they're both overkill. If your commute is under 50 miles a day, you'll charge once a week at home and forget about it. But if you road trip often, that extra range on the premium means less waiting, more driving. Tech and autopilot. Both cars share the same brain. Tesla's fast, clean software, and over-the-air updates. Both get mobile app integration and the full supercharger network. But here's the key difference. The premium includes basic autopilot, lane keeping, and adaptive cruise. The standard only includes adaptive cruise unless you pay extra. If you commute long distances or spend time on highways, that extra feature makes a real difference. You'll arrive more relaxed, less stressed, and yes, you'll pay for it if you go standard. In everyday use, the story splits. The standard owner enjoys simplicity. Commute, errands, charge at night, done. Quiet, efficient, worry-free. 
the premium owner lives a bit more luxuriously. Family trips, better sound, kids entertained in the back, and autopilot easing the highway grind. Same car, different rhythm. So which one should you buy? If you're practical, drive mostly in town, and want the best value in the EV world, the standard is your pick. It's efficient, reliable, and roughly $5,000 cheaper. With federal credits, it can dip under $33,000, an unbeatable price for a Tesla. But if you travel more, care about comfort, or just want the full Tesla experience, the premium is worth it. Longer range, faster charging, better materials, autopilot included, and that elevated driving experience. The honest truth. Here's the math no one mentions. That $5,000 difference spread over five years is about $83 a month. For that, you get more range, more speed, better sound, rear screens, and autopilot. If you can stretch your budget, go premium. You'll feel the upgrade every single day. But if the extra cost makes you hesitate, don't. The standard isn't a downgrade. It's a smart, affordable Tesla that gives you 90% of the experience for less money. The standard proves Tesla can still deliver value. The premium proves they can still deliver luxury. Picture this, two cars, same road, different journeys. The standard takes the direct route, efficient, no nonsense, practical. The premium glides along the scenic path, refined, relaxed, and confident. Both reach the same destination, both are electric, both are smart choices. But only you know which story fits your life. Sometimes the smarter choice isn't the flashiest. It's the one that matches your world. So there it is. Standard versus premium. Budget versus comfort. Practicality versus experience. Both are excellent cars, just aimed at different drivers. Which one fits your lifestyle? Drop a comment below. Are you team standard or team premium? And if this helped you decide, hit like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more honest EV comparisons. Because the best Tesla isn't the fastest or the cheapest, it's the one you love to drive every single day. Thanks for watching.